Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You haven't found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Star's members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Barry? 
is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Jill! <laughs> Don't scare me. That's what I was going to say. Aren't you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah, you're right. But just take a look at this! It's forest! Oh my god! I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Can you look around the first floor, Jill? Okay. Hey, Jill. This must have been Forrest's. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. Too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh, no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, 
You must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. I wonder if everybody is... Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa! This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play?
is that? My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? See? Just relax and play. All right. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. You like it? Oh, that was great. that? Chris, be careful! Is that you, Jill? What's going on? How come you look so scared? Look at this. What do you think of it? I've been thinking something is wrong with this house. Right. Hey, what is this? There's a page missing. Yeah. I thought about that, too. Perhaps that was the most important part.
hunt. You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah, my head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. You saved my life. I owe you one. I'm glad I could help. This is Jill. Brad? <gasps> it's broken. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Hey! What's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? What? It must be a star's radio. It's a little bit broken, but it might still be usable. I'll take it with me. Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill. I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then.
potion in order to make the potion and kill the root. Becca, please. Chris, don't die. for him, we got to the root of the problem. Saved again. I just... Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. Chris, take care! Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We're still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. What the hell is this? Barry! Jill!
You saved me. Yeah. That was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place anyway? Okay. I'm going to stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. Jill, what good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Rebecca! Rebecca! Chris! Thank God you're safe! I'm sorry that you were worried about me. We are in great danger. We must organize a search for the others and get the hell out of here. Understood? Yes, sir! Okay, I'll go first. Proceed with your own judgment. All right, can you do it? Yes, I can! Good luck. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes. Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Get going.
Oscar. You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How was your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature.
I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. What happened to Wesker? The triggering system has now been activated. All researchers and guards should take cover. Wesker must have set it off. Unlock There's not much time left for us. Chris! Jill! Chris, Wesker, he is... I, I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Uh, okay, I'll wait. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. And now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands! Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move! If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house.
Jill, you're all right. Ah, uh, yes. Wesker is here. He's... Oh, I know. Anyway, let's get out of here.
kids, uh, they always wait up for me. Even uh, today, uh, my oldest daughter. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. I know he must still be alive. <laughs>